I am Buzzy Green, founder of Rhythm B. We have successfully moved away from the use of the Flash Player and online streaming of our instructional material. Beginning in the 2018-19 school year, each subscriber can use the Rhythm B material as a native application for any desktop computer. Let's move through the installation process to let you see how this will work for you. The first thing we need to do is to download the engine that is going to replace the Flash Player. It is called Adobe Air and it is free. Don't let the sales strategy of the website trick you into accepting something other than Adobe Air. It is not Adobe Air SDK, Adobe Air Stock, or Adobe Air Creative Cloud. In your browser, go to this website. You see the address on the screen. You may want to pause your video player so you can get the address exactly right. The page should look like this but these pages change frequently. Just remember that you need to download Adobe Air. When you find the Download Now button on an Adobe Air page, click on that. It should be a brief process and we don't care where it installs. When you see a notification that Adobe Air installed correctly, just close that browser tab. Let's start by creating a Rhythm B folder in which we will install the application. And for convenience, let's create that folder on the desktop. And I am going to assume that you don't need instructions for that simple little task. Now let's go to the Rhythm B website. That address is www.rhythmb.com. It looks like this. Notice that in the upper right corner of the home page, there is a login link. That click will take you to the login page of our website. Notice that there are two empty text fields on this page. So put your email address in the email field and your Rhythm B code or password in the password field. Please remember that the password field is case sensitive. While we are on this page, please notice the button that reads, forgot your password. If you want to change your password or if you forget it, you can use that button to reset your password. When you have completed the information in those two fields, click on the login button just below those fields. When you log in successfully, your browser will go to a page that is titled listing categories. Under that title will be one link, which is the title of your subscription. Of course, the titles will vary depending on the subscription you have purchased. Clicking on that title link will take you to a page with two links. Notice that the first of those two links is a file containing instructions for the application. That is a PDF file that you can download, print, or both. Following those instructions will lead you to the same end result as this video. The second link on that page is the title of your subscription. That is the file that we will need to install the program to your computer. To be sure we find that download, let's put the download on the desktop. We can always find something there. To direct the download, right-click or command-click on the title and select Save As, Save Link As, or something similar from the drop-down menu. The result of that will be a dialog box that asks you to select the location where you would like to find that installer package when it is downloaded. In that dialog box, navigate to the desktop and select that location as the one to save your download. The download process should begin immediately. The time required to download these moderately large files will vary depending on the speed of your internet connection. If the time of the download seems excessive, there are some options that will help with this download process. The first is to simply start the download just before you go to bed or when you leave the school building it is likely that it will be finished long before you get back to it in the morning. 
Secondly, you might take your laptop home and download the installer package using the better internet connection at home. Thirdly, you might take your laptop to the library and use their internet connection. Public libraries usually have excellent Wi-Fi connections and many don't even have a password that you have to know in order to use the connection. Finally, it is possible to simply download the installer package to your home computer, then simply put the installer package on a thumb drive or USB drive or whatever you call those little memory sticks. Take that memory stick to school, put it in your school computer, open the memory sticks directory by double clicking on the memory stick logo or name and drag the installer package onto the desktop of your school computer. The result is the same as if you downloaded the file onto that computer. However you manage the download, it will look like this. Notice that it is a little cardboard box looking image that has the name of your subscription attached to it. That image is appropriate. You ordered what is inside the package. So let's open that package so your computer can use the material inside. We're going to install all of that material onto your computer. To do that, just double click on that cardboard box. That will start the installation process. During this process, you will have two decisions to make. Those two decisions are where you want the program installed and whether you want an icon on your desktop so that you can open the program easily. I recommend that you install the application in the Rhythm B folder. In most cases, we will never return to that folder, but if there is a problem, we will have to find the location of the installation. Your Rhythm B folder is the most easily remembered location. Concerning the second decision, I recommend that you allow the installer to put an icon on your desktop. With that icon in an easily found location, you won't really care where the installation is. Double clicking on that icon will open the program. Should you miss that second option and fail to allow that icon shortcut to be added to your desktop, just open the Rhythm B folder and browse through its contents until you find the icon. Then click on that icon, drag it onto your desktop, and that little problem is solved. Well, that is the setup process of the Rhythm B desktop application. I recommend that you double click on the icon and poke around on this app to get familiar with how it works. There is nothing you can damage, so have fun. Please remember that we make all improvements to our material by listening to our customers. So let us hear from you when you find a technical problem or a music error. We also like to know your good ideas. Many of our instructional files are created when one of our great customers has a better idea than we did, so please communicate those. We can often have your good idea in a useful form in just a couple of days, so don't think you have to wait for next year's subscription for that improvement to be available to you. We hope to hear from you soon with any feedback that you might wish to share. Until we meet again, this is Buzzy Green wishing you all the best.